Diving is a very solitary sport. You're on your own. It's terrifying. You have to let go of worrying about what's going to happen in the future, what's happened in the past. Everything else becomes completely irrelevant. It's just you, the board, and the water. It took me a while to come to terms with the fact that I was different. I hated to stand out for reasons that weren't my sport. And I think lots of queer people will feel the same, is that you want to almost overachieve to hide the fact that you are different. My family were always extremely supportive in anything that I wanted to do. My dad was my biggest cheerleader. He was my support for everything. I used to suffer a lot from being extremely nervous going into competition. He was just like, you just go do you. Who cares what anyone else is doing? He wanted to show that you can't control what other people are going to be thinking. You can only control yourself. There's something really powerful being able to live your life like that. All I ever looked to was 2012. It was our dream, but he never got to see me compete in London. When that was gone, my dad was gone, I felt like I was left with nothing. And it wasn't until the year after the Olympics is when I met my husband. My family and friends all know, but no one else does. Hi guys. One thing I've never really felt that comfortable talking about are my relationships, but recently, I was misquoted in an interview, and it made me feel really angry. And the headline was, Tom Daly, I am not gay. I never wanted to be seen as ashamed of who I was, because that's not what my dad taught me to be. I wanted to say what I wanted to say without anyone twisting my words. I met someone, and it made me feel so happy, so safe, and everything just feels great people started reaching out and it was this influx of, oh my, I am so not alone in this situation. I was a confused teen and you were someone I looked up to massively. I remember feeling relief that I wasn't alone, but it's been five years since I come out now and I've never felt so free in my life. Ha sido una inspiración, no solo para mí, sino para muchos niños que tienen miedo y algún día tendrán el valor de mostrar quienes verdaderamente son. As a queer athlete, I feel like I have an obligation to help my community because being your true, authentic self has the power to change people's hearts. And if you can change people's hearts, you can change people's minds.